We're going to be replacing the starter on a 2005 Chrysler Town and Country with the 3.8 liter V6. There it is. 3.8 liter V6. Tools you're going to need for the top bolt for the starter, you're going to need 15 millimeter with an extension. Of course, your ratchet. You're also going to need 13 millimeter. That's uh, for the top. There's going to be the, the first bolt you take off from the top here. That is actually on a stud. Uh, then you'll have the wire you remove, and then you'll have to use your 15 millimeter to remove that stud from the starter. Um, this is going to be to remove the uh, 10 millimeter. Can you see it? There it is, 10 millimeter to remove the cable from the battery so you don't electrocute yourself, I suppose. Uh, then on the bottom, you, uh, you're you going to need 12 millimeter and 15 millimeter. 12 millimeter is to remove the cable on the bottom. 15 millimeter is for the bolt on the bottom for the starter. Uh, you're also going to need a small screwdriver to remove the another wire for the on the clip. Um, you may need one of these little nubby adjustable wrenches here or ratchets uh, to get into the spot. It's a little tight. So first step, of course, remove the cable from the battery, and uh, then you're going to come in here and remove the bolt top bolt, releasing it up. Uh, you're also going to need a flashlight so you can see what you're doing here. So top bolt is. Uh, in here, I don't know if we can get to it. There it is, right there, that top bolt. Uh, loosen that up. Don't remove it all the way at first, just loosen it up. Uh, then go to the bottom. Once you get down here to the bottom, here is the cable you're going to move from your starter. Um, and then right there is the little clip as well that you use a little screwdriver to remove that. Get those off of there. Then you're going to come around to this side. And remove that bolt right there. So another one up there has got a little hole. It's another bolt, but uh, I didn't have it. It wasn't on mine, so some have it, some don't. So you can see, uh, see how the shiny right there? That's actually the new starter I already put on there. Between the the starter and the housing there, there is a spacer. You got to make sure that you put that back in there when you put your new starter on. So when you pull the old one off, it's going to fall or whatever. Put the new one back on there. Putting the new one back in is just reverse of what I just showed you. Make sure you put all your wires back on, your spacer in there, reconnect your battery, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.